Hey there, and welcome to chapter two. That is the first chapter we are going to start this course with. Um, not going to go over any examples. This is just an overview, preview of what you're going to be doing, and then you will see lots and lots of videos. However, if there's a problem that you're having an issue with, always click that Ask My Instructor and send it to me, and I'll be happy to work your exact problem. So in chapter two, you're going to be dealing with graph lines and inequalities with graphs. You're just going to start out in understanding ordered pairs, the x, y, the different quadrants. Um, yeah, and you'll again see this in the videos and your practice exercises. And the reason for this is to actually plot data. And in a math class, I know it seems weird plotting these points, but as you can see, there's going to be many applications for this. So in the back of your head, I always tell students when you're learning, you know, the algebra and kind of the part, the boring part, remember it's like learning an instrument, right? You're learning to play notes and chords until we build you up to the point where now you can play a song, in our case, figure out these nice little applications. So you'll see how to sketch different graphs, okay? You can do this by finding particular points. Um, and we'll also talk about finding x-intercepts where you're on the x-axis and y-intercepts where you're on the y-axis. Again, lots of examples in here for you to go through. Um, and what this is saying here, basically the intercepts of the graph is we like to find those because as you can see back here, it makes it very quick and easy um, just to connect those two points to find your line. And again, so many different you know, data values are going to have graphs once you connect the dots. And so you want to be able to understand these types of graphs so that when you look at them, you understand what you're looking at. Section 2.2 gets more into the actual equations of the graphs. Try uh, a reminder, might be new for some of you, but maybe a reminder uh, from algebra how to find the slope of a line. The slope is just the steepness of the line. If you have a horizontal slope or a vertical slope, horizontal, the slope zero, vertical, undefined. If you have a positive slope, that means the more tacos I eat, the more my weight goes up, right? And, and you should visualize things like this, not, you know, this whole y equals mx plus b and I don't understand all this mathy stuff. Visualize something. You know, the more hours you work, the more money you make. The more hours you study, the higher your grade gets. Um, the slope intercept form, we like to put equations in this form because it makes it very quick and easy to find slopes and intercepts and also to be able to figure out a graph. Positive slopes, increasing. Every one of these are positive. Negative slopes, decreasing. Okay, so it's, that's something very good to understand the difference between positive, increasing, and negative. So when you look at the slope and you graph it, it'll actually make sense. And that's what this is saying here. Upward, positive, downward, negative. As I said, the horizontal, zero, vertical, undefined. Um, we can also find where two parallel or perpendicular based on parallel, same slope. And they say the product of their slope is negative one, but basically, as you'll see, you flip, it's the reciprocal with a negative sign on it. And so here we can see parallel because negative two-thirds. Notice this is in the y equals mx plus b. And here we can see, notice negative one-third, if I flipped it, would be negative three over one, made it positive, there's that three. And so these are just little tricks that you're going to see, you know, how do you figure out if you have parallel lines? How do you figure out if you have perpendicular lines? And this formula, most students remember the y equals mx plus b a lot. This formula is actually used a lot more, or maybe you only have a point and then a slope and you can come up with an equation. So this is a nice little cheat sheet, I guess you could call it, um, you know, with looking at equation, the different way you could write the equation of a line to be able to understand as soon as you see it, you know, if you have it solved for y, then you know you can read the value on your x variable is the slope, and then the number is the y-intercept, and so on. And so as I, as I mentioned, you're going to see this stuff being applied and how you could actually use it in the real world. 2.4, linear inequalities, not linear equations. A, a linear equation is a line, and all the points are on the line. An inequality now could be a lot of values less than, right? Um, 
Think of an inequality if you make less than a 59, you make a, an F in the course, right? Don't do that. Don't be making no Fs in my course. And that's all inequalities are, is they're more than one value. So as you can see, this would say the inequality were greater than two. The parentheses does not include two. If it was a square bracket, it would include two. You'll get used to the inequalities. And you can have some in-between inequalities as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the overview. I know that was fast and furious, but I don't think you're really, really, really going to understand the material until you get down in the trenches, right? Um, go, go old school. Don't just sit there and look at videos. Take notes. You should have a whole composition book filled by the end of this course. Um, as always, reach out for help and let's get through chapter two.